Hey folks, Jeff here. Today we're going to be talking a little more about URL filtering and specifically about user activity reports. Uh, this video comes about based on a question I got from one of my customers. He was talking to me today and he said that he had, that he had a problem with his user reports. Now, when he pulled the report for a specific user, he noticed two things. One was that he could see the traffic summary for that user based on the URL category. That was working fine. So he could see the stats based on different URL categories, no problem. But when he scrolled down in the report and got past the categories to the portion of the report that covers individual websites, all of that was blank, not like this report that I'm showing you here. This is just a demo report. When he looked at his report, the browsing summary by website had nothing in it. There were no websites, nothing to reference. Um, so a user report was pretty worthless for him. So he asked me if there was a way we could fix this, if there was something he was doing wrong that we could change. And I said, yes, this is actually a pretty simple fix. So what we did was logged into his firewall and I showed him where he was making a mistake. Now I'm bringing up this demo firewall and it's configured similar to how his was configured. You'll see here that what I've done is I've created a clone of the original default rule and I've named it custom URL. And like my customer, most of the original default rules are still in the custom one that I've created. And you'll see here that this is where the problem lies. If you remember in my other videos, we've talked about the different categories for URL filtering. And it's very important to understand the difference between allow and alert when we talk about site access. Now, remember that allow means that you're allowed to go to the website, allowed to go to that URL, but we don't log that within the URL filtering log. Alert, on the other hand, means that we allow the traffic we allow you to go to that URL, but we're going to log that within the URL filtering log. And so this is the reason why we're not seeing anything on the user activity report is because all of the traffic is set to allow, not alert. So we need to change that for these 57 uh, entries, for these 57 categories. So if we jump in here, what we can see is that we have each of our categories and we have their settings. And my customer asked me, well, does this mean I'm going to have to go through and click on each one of 57 and change that from allow to alert? Or is there a faster way to do this? And the answer is there is a much faster way to do this. And it's based on using these options here within our URL filtering actions. We can either set all actions which means we can change all of these to alert. Now, if I were to click this, that would set everything to alert, but it would, so it would change all of my allows to alert, but it would also change these blocked categories to alert as well. So we don't necessarily want to do that. Next, I've got the option to set selected actions, which means if I click on the checkbox for any one of these or all of them, I can set the action for that for those selected categories. Now, the problem becomes I still have to set I still have to click on the checkbox for all 57 of those categories. So again, my customer asked me, is there a slightly faster way to do this? And there is. And it's based on this search box that we have here. Unlike the log entries, what we can use here is uh, we don't have to use the query language that we see within the logs. What we can do here is a simple keyword search. So if I just type in the word allow, you'll see that we drop down instead of having 66 categories, we have 57. All of those categories that said block or alert are gone and all I have left is the allows. So what I can do is go back here, go back to this set all actions and change this from allow to alert. And now I've made this change across 50, all 57 of these categories. I can do the same thing for my user credential submission and change all of these from allow to alert. And I've changed those across all 57. 
Now, if I clear away this keyword search and go back to viewing all 66 items, you'll see that we have alert set for all of these, but the categories that were originally set as block are still set for block. So if I click on OK, you'll see that we go back out here and all of my allow categories are now at zero and my alert categories are all 57. Same thing on my user credential submission. So all I would need to do now is commit my configuration. And then what we should see from then on is anytime uh, a user goes to an allowed URL, one that we permit, we're going to log that activity as well. And that will now show up on the user activity reports. I hope this tip has been helpful. Thanks for watching.